2017 SEC Newcomer of the Year and former Auburn Tiger, Jared Stidham, quarterback, has decided to declare for the NFL draft. Once again, it's KC the GOAT for Vernon Speak Sports, mostly talking about Auburn football and the rest of the SEC. I want to give a shout out to my fearless and true gang, War Eagle. Jared Stidham, obviously having a somewhat up and down career at Auburn, decides to declare for the NFL. He has a little bit of competition with Dwayne Haskins out of Ohio State, Daniel Jones, uh, Will Greer, Drew Locke. I'm actually kind of big on Daniel Jones. Had a chance to look at him on film as I was previewing uh, Duke in Alabama. He's definitely has a strong arm and very good, uh, obviously, as a dual threat quarterback. Now, one thing about Jared Stidham out of Auburn University, uh, actually an Auburn graduate, had one more year of eligibility and decided to go to the NFL. I actually think this is a good move on Jared Stidham's part because if you think about what's happening in the 2020 draft, his stock would have been all but non-existent. Um, of so, now, that's not to say if he, he might have had a pretty good season this year with Auburn, especially with some of the weapons that are coming back um, skill position wise. But I still don't think his stock would have been enough to compete with the likes of Jake, with the resumes of Jake Fromm and Tua Tungavaloa and guys of that nature. I think this class that's coming out here in 2019, um, which obviously isn't very top heavy, a lot of the names, you know, uh, or doesn't just you know when you you hear them you just don't it's just, the bell of excitement just doesn't ring now one thing when we look at a guy like jared stidham he has great size you know his height you know all all that is in place he has a very strong arm one thing about jared stidham he can zip that thing um to you his deep ball is absolutely beautiful um his out routes when he can connect are great the only downside, well, one of few downsides of Jared Stidham is he's very shaky when it comes to that intermediate route. If you look at the game against Purdue, almost threw a pick in that intermediate route. Actually threw a pick in the intermediate route, route misread against LSU. So he, he, and you can tell a lot of times we thought it was the offensive line, but if you look down the field, a lot of times that intermediate route was open but Jared Stidham did not trust himself to throw that pass. That's why the, the uh, offensive line blocking tended to break down because there were several times where the commentators would say, well, he didn't have anyone. Yes, he had someone open. He had guys in that intermediate route, but he doesn't trust himself to throw that route. That route usually turns out dangerous for him because he has to read the inside linebacker and the strong and the strong or free safety or the nickel back and he has a lot of trouble in that 15 yard intermediate passing route reading their um you know reading their movements now one thing i can say jared stidham probably could benefit from very very thorough uh film study to where he can when he's dissecting the team he can tell their tendencies in that route because that's really the route that that really cost him a lot of times a lot of turnovers so like I said before, he has a strong arm, man. His deep ball is absolutely phenomenal. But one thing I do know too that is kind of that brings his stock down is that he just doesn't perform very well under duress. If you look at him under extreme pressure, he usually can't make the throw. He usually doesn't make very, very good decisions under duress. He's either going to get sacked or he's going to throw an errant pass, kind of like the one he threw against UCF that cost cost Auburn the game at that point of the game um also the fumble the inexplicable fumble against Tennessee things like that Jared Stidham absolutely has to correct if he's going to be even a backup quarterback in the NFL now as far as the upside and the potential I think you could take a chance on Jared Stidham probably around late I'm talking about late late second round Late second round to middle third round, but definitely won't be picked the first day of the draft. Once again, it's Case Do the Goat for Vernon Speak Sports talking about Jared Stidham, uh, Auburn graduate, War Eagle. Best of luck in the NFL. You all take care.